Hey guys, it's me. It's been a really long time since my last video. I haven't had any, any internet uh, here at my apartment. I moved back in May and uh, just never got internet and uh, the internet that I was using at public places was really slow so uploading a video literally like took hours and I just didn't have that kind of time to to sit in a coffee shop so uh, I have internet now today officially I've set it up so um, we've got some catching up to do huh so let's get started okay I have quite a few books this book gathering uh, obviously because it's been months since my last one um, I'm not going to share all of them with you because I do have uh, too many, actually. But I have right here ugh, a bag full of bookish goodness. So the first one I have is An Apple for Creature. And this was edited by Charlene Harris. So I know that there are going to be a lot of uh, really fun stories in here from different authors. Love Charlene Harris. Now that Sookie Stackhouse uh, is, is gone, has left us, and the series has ended, I need my Charlene Harris fix. And I haven't been a fan of her um, her earlier works. The Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries were eh, okay. Uh, then I have Tamara Pierce, who wrote Trickster's Choice. Yes. The next one I have uh, is Born Confused. This one looked fantastic, and I was really excited to pick it up for like a dollar. I got this at a Youth Pride garage sale uh, in Canada. So they just had all of these garage sale tables set up, and one of them was a book table. I went crazy. This book is by, excuse me if I pronounce this name wrong, uh, Tanuja Desai Hadir is the author of this book. The next one on the menu is The True Meaning of Cleavage by Maria Frederick. So this is a this is a high school based um, book as far as I can tell, just kind of a, a memoir of what it was like growing up with the cliques and, and cliches of uh, being a high school student. So uh, very, very small, just a quick read, looking forward to getting into that. Now obviously um, behind me is, is my bookshelf in place of where my TV should be, and actually the majority of those books are unread. A lot of the books that I have already have already read have either been put up and away in storage or in a specific uh, place on a shelf somewhere back in, in other rooms. So a lot of these, let me, which way am I turning? A lot of these books I haven't read, and they're all on my TBR, and now these are all on my TBR, so it's going to take a while for me to get to these books. Oh, yeah, I started my master's degree in library and information sciences last week, so uh, it's been crazy hectic and busy trying to get all that together, but it's been wonderful, and uh, it gives me a reason to, to sit down and say, hey, I have to read this book. I'm a library science major. Of course I have to read Next up is uh, Ghost Girl Love Sick. This one, I had never heard of this one before, uh, but it was $3. So, you know me, the book bargain. This is by Tanya Hurley. It's a cute little front cover. I've read the first couple of chapters. Um, not necessarily my writing style. It's pretty interesting. I might keep reading this one. Okay, here's where things get interesting. Um, I, at that garage sale I was telling you about, I saw that they had the entire Gossip Girl series on uh, on the table for sale. I have never, ever, ever been interested in reading the Gossip Girls. Just not the type of book that I would normally be interested in picking up and reading, spending money for, or even, you know, wasting library checkout time on. Um, but they were ridiculous. I got I got something like 25 books for 15 bucks, so um, they were less than a dollar each, and since the entire series was there, I went ahead and I purchased, I did purchase the entire series. Now, I am one short because I left the books in a box so Mom and I could wander off and, um, and look at other things, and the people at the table were watching it for me. When I came back, there was an older woman who was rooting through what I had already purchased, and she put a book back in the box and seemed to kind of meander off, so I, you know, I didn't say anything. She had a book in her hand, and I didn't realize that it was one of mine, so the very first one of the Gossip Girl series I'm missing, because uh, an old lady took off with it. I hope she enjoys it. 
anyway, so yeah, the Gossip Girl series, um, by Cicely Von Zygzar. Oh, Lord, I am not sure. Zygzar. Zygzar. You Gossip Girl fans know exactly how to pronounce that name, so you just, you just pronounce it in your head. Um, I also went a little cuckoo for coconuts over another series that was on that same table that was a completed series. Again, another series I never would have picked up um, before, but when you're uh, presented with an opportunity to have an entire series, even if it's not a series necessarily you were interested in reading before, for such a small investment, <laughs> monetary investment, like, might as well. Mm -hmm. So, Pretty Little Liars. Boom. Got my Pretty Little Liar books. And I think there, I think there might be a couple of these that have been scattered about because um, I still haven't gotten my unpacking situated. So I might be missing one or two, um, either the Boss of Girls or um, Pretty Little Liars. But I have them. I counted. I looked online, made sure all of them uh, were the ones that I purchased. And yeah, so full series, two full series that I got, uh, plus other books for twenty five bucks. Why not? Especially since a new book these days, especially a good new book, is $25 anyway, so I think I made a good investment. Alright, chickadees, that is all for today. That's all for this book gathering. Um, I'd love to make more YouTube videos and keep on top of this stuff. Uh, I can't make any promises though because I do have a very busy schedule now, especially since I'm in school again. I am working full time, well, almost full. Well, yeah, full time. I'm working full time now and doing school. I have three classes that I'm taking, which is one more than what was suggested I take with a full time job. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of stuff going on, and I opened my my business. For those of you who have known about that a little bit, I opened it uh, at the end of August. So and it's still being developed, and of course I'm still getting that. Uh, situated so yeah I'm very busy but very happy and uh, plenty of time to read still so everything's good how's everything with you I'd like to know just uh, post below and tell me what's up with you what books are you reading um, what kind of fun bookish things are you doing have you participated in any giveaways lately uh, who knows I want to know this is a tentative I'm back. I will definitely be posting more videos than what you've seen in the past couple months because I have internet now. Isn't that wonderful? I'm so excited. Okay. Alright, I'm going to leave you with that and I'll see you next time.